Hey guys, there is uh, another piece of uh, dollar store technology for you to look at. So I got this uh, little thing, a little pocket magnifier with LED light uh, in dollar store or Dollarama in Canada for 350. And the uh, reason I'm, I got it because I sometimes I look into um, look at some PCBs and uh, it'll be nice to have some kind of magnification to see. Um, uh, you know, the, the little little tax on the chips or resistors or, or whatever, inductors and things things like that. And or, or look at something in confined spaces when there is no much light and you need some magnification. So I got like, I only saw it in one dollar store, so I pick it up. And before I actually start using it, I'd like to take a look and maybe tear it apart. I think it will be extremely simple. It has LED light. Uh, it uses CR1130 batteries. I don't even actually know what are those. Uh, we will take a look, obviously. Um, and the major thing here that it actually collapses. So I hope that's the uh, that's gonna work properly. Look kind of weird. Colors are weird, but whatever. Also, would like to know how good is this lens. What kind of you know? Uh, and that's what, what's funny. Uh, another funny thing here, it looks like there is a sticker over sticker and dollar store sticker. I'm curious what was there before. Ah, not gonna, won't be able to rip it properly. Sorry, I don't be able to lift it properly because it kind of rips apart. It was four dollars before it got, um, how you call it, discontinued 50 cents. Anyways, I'm not sure if it was at 3.50, but hey, let's give it a shot so it has a little let me use my little knife here little sticky tape over here okay That's, i'm gonna be like uh some kind of unboxing tear down a little review and same time box go away knife go away so it's just packaging like packaged just like that very simple or here we are okay so that's how it looks like it called light wage it's the I think it's a brand maybe it is a, oh it is brand so light weight wedge is a brand light wedge it collapses looks pretty neat actually kind of like it uh, yeah looks like a soap bar or something or some kind of old-school cell phone or clamshell clamshell cell phone uh, Oh, here's the light. It's oh, it powers when you open it completely. Ta-da! Actually, nice and big lens. Cool. So it's already uh, batteries already in, and batteries. Uh, it doesn't have those kind of plasticky tabs you have to pull for the battery to start. Oh, okay, here we are. This is CR1130. Just. It's a three volt battery. Cool. It's not bad. It's nice. It's very actually nice feel to it. It's kind of silicone-y, but it's not silicone-y. It's like, um, it feels like a rubberized plastic, but it's actually plastic with some kind of surface. Um, uh, some kind of matte surface. Feels nice. Well, so far I like it. So I don't know how would I illustrate the magnification capabilities of this uh, device, of this device, but I'll give it a shot. Okay, let's grab some kind of PCB and let's see what we can see through the camera lens. Okay, I have this uh, this Chinese power bank, this assembled power bank, which I analyzed and looked into one of my older videos. Uh, by the way, the, some anal anal uh, analysis, capacity analysis for this battery is still coming. Uh, I have it all done, but I just need to publish it. Uh, and I'll be looking at those elements and to see how good is this magnification or this lens. All right, uh, I zoom in a little bit and here let's give it a try. So, power it up and let's try to Obviously a little bit of a glare from the studio lights. Okay, have to like angle it properly. Okay, well it's actually not as bad. It definitely has has a, definitely has a uh, working distance, so it's probably 
about 10 centimeters. After that, it became like a very, um, very blurry. So there is a certain fox, uh, focal distance you have to keep it at. And obviously, it has quite a distortions on the side. So you're gonna see stuff properly only in the, in the center. But that's fine. You, you don't really need. Um, that much, um, don't really need that much of a viewing window, but still nice to have as big as possible. Curious that this is not Fresno lens, it's just regular um, lens. Oh, it looks like it works. It magnifies both ways, so it's a symmetrical lens, I assume. I assume. I'm not into optics, but for some, only for some degree. Um, works. Um, the only one comment about light, it. <laughs> I think it's. Pretty useless. Let me try without studio lights or with reduced studio lightning. All right, let's try another side. I have two lights. Yes, I mean, not much I can see. Well, it's, it's Better than better than nothing, obviously. It also seems like light comes from the side, not from the. Okay, I'm gonna put the light back. Sorry, guys. Obviously, the studio lights are much more powerful than this little dinky light. Anyway, so looks like the light, if you, it's coming from the side like that. So it's make light to be um, from like a sideways side sidewise side light essentially it's um, lighting the subjects on the side so it's good to see a relief or or um, like a uh, like little 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 details uh, with uh, with the with low uh, side lights, so it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of cool. I think it's a neat feature. But sometimes what you need, you need actually light which goes uh, from the front or actually uniform uh, lights everything from on all all sides. So in this case, that's fail here. So there there is a usage of this particular light direction, but in most cases I would prefer to light to be all over the place. So essentially have like another LED like this on this side or actually strip over here or and strip over here would be even even better. But I guess we have what we have. And now I notice that this if you look over here sorry let me move lower this is a little gla glass over here i assume this is some sort of lens which actually may spreads the light um, this way or kind of bounces light or some kind of prism interesting to look in this to, into this in details okay uh, let's do a quick tear down here it's not really clear how to open this thing probably let's try the battery compartment first. Battery just popped out. This is all decorative stuff. But I don't see any screws. Okay, looks like it just have some tops here. Like you just click, click, it just it assembles just like that. All right, and oh, okay, we still have to get in somehow. And funny is there is no screws over here. Also curious if this thing can support. Oh yeah, there is a metal top for the battery. So, oh, I see how it works. Yeah, it's no, it goes like that. So in this position, it just uh, 
this slider goes over two batteries and essentially makes a circuit. Yeah. And those batteries are connected in parallel. I guess it's just LED and the nothing else. And looks like it's glued together, so I'm not f not sure if I can get any further. Yeah, that seems to be gl uh, it is just glued because uh, it has to be screws here, but they are not populated, and this thing is quite uh, nicely set together. So I don't think, oops, I don't think I would be able to. Um, ah, actually, I maybe I would be able to. Uh, yeah, I would have to. Okay, I'm gonna just pick what's in there. There is nothing. It's just two tops. They go directly to the LED, and that's it. It probably uses using like internal resistance of the battery. And I'll have to do something like this. Ah, sorry. Just to uh, just to limit the current, so that's pretty much it. Very, very, very simple. Awesome, but it works. Ding. Okay, let's put it back together. Rather. Alright, very easy, easy to disassemble, very easy to change the battery, very nice thing, I kind of like it, but after all, it's not much of a difference. Oh, also another thing, the light actually doesn't point, the light doesn't point in the center, it's kind of over here. It's another kind of, um, this is a little bit of a disappointment, but hey, in general, it works fine. Well, I would say at a pass, for like 350, maybe... It's maybe okay, but I think it's actually even cheaper than that. Production of this thing, I believe, it's so much cheaper. It's just one of those neat products. It's good to have around you when you need to look at, uh, at various components on your PCBs. Maybe look at the coins, stamps, and other things like that. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's fine. It's totally usable, not useless. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, see you next time.